DIY, are we, sir? on the ground. It's the moon! She wore down the moon! <laughs> Martha! You hold your tongue, Samuel Mallet! It's a gentleman, David. No! Friends, be reasonable. This is madness. about that incoming object, sir? No, Tench. Why not? Because it was a puffin. <laughs> right, Tench, let's us off. I'm leaving you in charge. You can rely on me, sir. Yes. <laughs> now, if there is a nuclear attack while we're out, <laughs> know what to do. Sir? <laughs> Bring Mrs. McNally at the post office. <laughs> Morning, ladies. I wonder if... No. But I haven't... No. Five million pounds for a special reserve for the white rhinoceros. There are only about 500 left. Well, exactly. Well, that's ten grand a rhino. Where are they going to be staying? The Nairobi Hilton? Ski! <laughs> Sister says your fundraising's going awfully well. Oh, you know, not bad. It's a nice office you've got here, Mr. Templeton. <laughs> It'd be a shame if anything happened to it. <laughs> We've been thinking about all the penance we'd have to do for keeping your little secret safe. It might help if you gave a great big chunk of that money to the poor orphan children of Africa. But you know, I'd love to, but I'm afraid it's all been earmarked. Oops! <laughs> Sister's awful clumsy sometimes. It's, it's early closing Wednesday! Our takings have really gone up, Margaret. <laughs> Yes, she's made a complete recovery. Of course, bring your features editor. <laughs> but remember, she's a little girl. She's been through a lot. <laughs> you mustn't do anything to get her overexcited. <laughs> Tell me, what do you propose to do about the council projected underspend vis-a-vis -vis the business levy? <laughs> oh, well, in that case, I'd drive my Chevy to the levy. Um, <laughs> unless, of course, the levy was dry. <laughs> Today we're uh, promoting my show, where I spill the beans and I tell everyone why, well, I should be king. It's a free yoga, let me get it. Oh, excellent, yeah. There you go. Andy the king. Andy the king. Oh, the king. 